If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. To access the cropping and rotating tools in the Camera Raw dialog box in Photoshop, click the Crop button in the toolbar at the right side of the Camera Raw dialog box. When this button is selected, the Crop tool is automatically activated by default. Additionally, the Crop tab and Rotate and Flip tab appear in the panel to the left of the toolbar, which provide additional settings. To use the Crop tool to remove unwanted parts of the image when the Crop tool is activated, first decide whether to draw an unconstrained bounding box or a constrained bounding box for the area to crop. A bounding box is the area you keep within the image when you crop the image. You remove image areas outside the bounding box. By default, the bounding box applied when you first activate the crop tool is set to select the entire image. You can see bounding box resizing handles appear at the corners and sides of the image in the Camera Raw dialog box. A constrained bounding box always applies a bounding box that uses a fixed aspect ratio you select for its height and width. An unconstrained bounding box lets you freely adjust the height to width aspect ratio of the bounding box. To lock or unlock the aspect ratio when changing the size of the bounding box, click the Constrain Aspect Ratio button in the Crop tab in the panel to the left of the toolbar to toggle its lock icon on or off. If this icon looks locked, you apply the selected aspect ratio to the bounding box when changing its size. If the icon looks unlocked, you can freely change its aspect ratio when changing the size of the bounding box. If desired, to select the aspect ratio to apply to the bounding box, select a desired numeric ratio from the preset dropdown. Alternatively, to specify a custom numeric ratio, Select the Custom Ratio command from the drop-down to open the Custom Ratio dialog box. Then enter the Height to Width Crop Ratio to use in the two fields in this dialog box from left to right, and then click the OK button. To set the size of the bounding box for the crop after choosing your desired aspect ratio settings, Hover your mouse pointer over the bounding box resizing handle that corresponds to the direction in which to resize the bounding box until your mouse pointer turns into a straight double pointed arrow. Then click and drag at that point inward or outward to change the size of the bounding box and release the mouse when it is at the desired location. Note that you cannot extend the bounding box past the content of the image. Repeat this as needed until you have a bounding box of the desired size. If needed, to flip the height and width aspect ratio values, which changes the size of the bounding box, click the Rotate Aspect Ratio button in the Crop tab in the panel to the left of the toolbar. Alternatively, to reset the size of the current bounding box, Click the Reset Crop button in the upper right corner of the Crop tab in the panel to the left of the toolbar, or press the Escape key on your keyboard. To reposition the image content within the current bounding box, click and drag in the image to move its desired content into the desired area within the bounding box. To rotate the image content within the bounding box, Place your pointer slightly outside the bounding box until your mouse pointer turns into a bent, double-pointed arrow. Then click and drag in either direction shown by the double-pointed arrow to rotate the bounding box. Alternatively, to rotate the image, use the Angle slider on the Crop tab or type a positive or negative degree up to 45 into its adjacent field. To constrain the crop to the image, check the Constrain to Image checkbox. Alternatively, to use the Straighten tool to straighten an image, 
Click the Straighten Tool button to the right of the angle slider in the Crop tab in the panel to the left of the toolbar. Then click and drag a straight line across the image either horizontally or vertically as desired. When you release the mouse button, the horizontal or vertical sides of the image are aligned to the angle of the line you drew. This also often changes the size of the bounding box to fit within the image content. To rotate or flip the image, click one of the buttons in the Rotate and Flip tab in the panel to the left of the toolbar after selecting the Crop button in the toolbar. The buttons from left to right are Rotate Image Counterclockwise, Rotate Image Clockwise, Flip Image Horizontally, and Flip Image Vertically. To apply the crop after setting its bounding box and positioning the image content within it, press the Enter key on your keyboard. Alternatively, to cancel the crop, click the Reset Crop button in the upper right corner of the Crop tab, or press the Escape key on your keyboard. Remember to click the Subscribe button to see more of our videos. See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www.teachucomp.com.